Have you ever turned on your console, logged into your PC, and just sat and stared at all your video games, unable to choose what game to play? You scroll up and down. You say, maybe I'll play this game, maybe I'll play that game, but you just can't decide. You just don't feel like playing any of them. Well, the truth is you might be suffering from gaming burnout. It's real. And today I'm gonna share with you three things that you can do to help overcome gaming burnout. But first, if you believe in positive gaming, if you wanna live the best life you can, if you wanna balance your life in gaming, then please subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell so you can see all of our videos. And don't forget to like this video and join me as I strive to be a more positive gamer. So gaming burnout, it's real. We've all been through it. I've been through it multiple times myself. And what gaming burnout is, it's this lack of desire to play any video game. It's this sitting down, you wanna play video games, but you sit down and nothing appeals to you. Maybe you'll jump into a, a, a game or two and you'll jump in for five, 10 minutes and it's just, you're tired. You're worn out. The desire is gone. Well, sounds like you're suffering from gaming burnout. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. We all do it. It happens to all of us, especially if you're a, if you're a hardcore gamer, if you've been going for any amount of time in, in a video game or video games, you are gonna have this, you're gonna come across this at some point in your life. Now, video game burnout presents itself in a variety of ways and it's different for everybody, but there are some commonalities. The first thing I would look at before jumping in and trying to figure out, trying to fix that video game burnout is look at other aspects of your life. How is your work? Are you stressed out at work? How is your home life? Is, is there something happening in your home life that is causing you undue stress that you're constantly worried about? How about your health? Maybe there's some medical issues that you're dealing with. All these could cause you to have general burnout not just gaming burnout. Uh, you could just be burned out in general. In that case, you need to take care of the things in your life that maybe are causing you to, to feel this burnout. For me, I know I've had burnout when I've been in jobs that I just did not like, right? And we've all been there. We've all had jobs that we just didn't like. You just get burnt out. You lose your desire. You lose your willpower. You lose your zest for life. It's not a fun place to be. So take a look at your life. Take a look at every aspect of your life. Self-reflect and say, hey, how is life? Is there anything here that I need to take care of uh, before we address gaming burnout? Now, if you've done all this and your life is good, you're feeling fine, but you're still experiencing gaming burnout, then here are three things that you can do to help fix that gaming burnout. The first thing I would do is take a look at what type of games you are regularly playing. Now, a lot of times if you're playing like an MMO, if you're playing something like a Destiny, that's this constant competitive grinder, this loot grinder, and you've always got to be going, maybe you're playing a competitive shooter and you're competing with your friends. What games are you currently playing? Take a look and maybe you're playing these games too much. Maybe it's this stagnation in your gameplay that is causing you this gaming burnout. And what you can do is just switch it up. What I would do is switch it to something that is mindless. And I, maybe mindless is the wrong word, but a game that's a little bit more relaxing. In, in a lot of these games, MMOs, competitive shooters, stuff, games like that, uh, even hardcore story games, there is a stress to it, right? There is a little bit of a stress level and you just might be burned out of that particular game. Maybe there's only one game that you play every day, all day. You might just be burned out of that game. Figure out what games you can sit down and just be an autopilot and just a game that doesn't cause you a lot of stress. It's not super crazy hard or difficult or anything like that. You could just relax and enjoy. Maybe there's a building game. Maybe it's something like The Sims. For me, a game that really helps me relax is Minecraft. You just go in, you build. There's not a whole lot of thought. It's about the joy of creation. There's a lot of mindfulness there. It's very singular. You're doing one task and one thing. Racing games are also something that I really enjoy to relax to, particularly something like a Forza Horizon, something where you can just cruise around and you get to enjoy the world. You get to enjoy the scenery. Another example of a great game is something like an Animal Crossing, where you are really, it's similar to a Minecraft and you're just kind of in the world enjoying yourself. There's not a whole lot of intensity or, or thought that goes into it necessarily. It's just about enjoyment. And finally, games that do it to me are kind of space simulation games where I can just get out there. I'm in this void of space and I'm flying like an elite dangerous. These games 
allow me to zone out. They're almost therapeutic in a sense and allow me to reset, cleanse my palate. I play these games for a while and then I'm ready to go. I'm over my gaming burnout and I'm ready to jump back into my regular grind. The second piece of advice I have for you if you're suffering from gaming burnout is to take a look at not just the game that you're playing, right? If you're going through a game and grinding, but this type of game. So single player versus multiplayer. Maybe you're really grinding competitive multiplayer Call of Duty shooters all the time. You're playing with your friends all the time. You're doing raids, you're doing boss fights, and maybe it's just too much. Maybe you just need to take a step back and play some single player games for a while, right? To just be alone with your thoughts in a world, a game like a Witcher, a Red Dead, uh, where it's this world and you're by yourself and you're just enjoying it and get back to just you gaming. Conversely, maybe you're playing some really intense single player story games like a Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, uh, Witcher 3. Games like that where you're always alone, God of War, Spider-Man, and you're always alone playing these games, maybe you need to switch it up if you're feeling gaming burnout and play some multiplayer games. Get back, jump in, play with your friends, have fun, have laughs, just switch it up. The key here with tip one and tip two is to take what you're normally doing and switch it up for a little bit of time. Get get a nice refresh into your gaming habit. I've done this lots of times. I tend to, to game by myself a lot, and so jumping in and playing with my friends, my brother, my cousin, it has really helped to reignite the passion and love for gaming that I have. Switching up how you play and who you play with is all we need sometimes to restore that passion, to rejuvenate, to revigorate yourself, to revigorate that gaming mindset that you have. So switch it up. And finally, step number three, if, if steps one and two do not work in getting you over your gaming burnout, sometimes you just have to accept reality and take a step back. Take some time off from gaming, maybe do some reading, read that, catch up on that book that you've been meaning to read, maybe practice some music, learn an instrument. Just take a step back. Sometimes we just need a break. Sometimes we're too in. We live in a time where there are always amazing games to play and it can be overwhelming. And in trying to pursue that, it can cause burnout. And so sometimes the, the reality is you just need to take a step back. Now, I have done this sometimes when I have felt gaming burnout, when I felt gaming fatigue, and it usually only takes a week. Sometimes it's only taken a couple days and I've been able to get right back in to where I left off gaming and just be re-energized, rejuvenated. But sometimes you just need to take a step back. If step one and step two don't work again, don't be afraid to just put down your controller, to turn off your PC, to walk away and say, hey, just gonna take some time off. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm thinking I'm back. The important thing here is that you accept that yes, I am feeling gaming burnout. Even though I love games, you can get burned out of the things that you love work towards resetting yourself, rejuvenating, take the steps necessary to overcome that gaming burnout, and then you can get back to gaming and enjoying life and having fun like you've never had before. Guys, I wanna know what have you done? What have you found that works in your life when you've experienced gaming burnout? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, guys, please hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. If you believe in positive gaming, if you believe in, in the mission that we're doing here and helping gamers balance their life and helping you live the best life you could, then please subscribe to this channel, hit the notification button and join me on my journey as I strive to be a more positive gamer. Remember, if you're not having fun gaming, you're probably not doing it right. I'll see you guys next time.